Hey everybody, how's it going? We're here. I'm here with Aaron. Everybody's favorite Aaron. Hey. Aaron. And we're here in the Devil's Punch Bowl in Hamilton, Ontario. I was here in uh, the spring when there was a lot of ice and it was pretty difficult to get into the Devil's Punch Bowl. I don't want to get too close here because you can see it's just a giant cliff and it would be very painful to fall down there. So Aaron has brought his drone which has been named, thanks to, thanks to you guys, Air 2D2. The Air stands for air, and the two stands for... Multiple. Multiple, like air is uh, air oxygen. Which is, if you can let us know what Air 2D2 stands for, that would also be helpful. Fall leaves are here, things are starting to turn. September. Anyways, we're gonna fly this drone into the Devil's Punch Bowl and give you guys a closer look and hopefully not fall in. I don't want to fall. I'm gonna step take a few steps away from the edge. Going to where we can't go. Over an edge. It's a long way down there. So this is the Devil's Punch Bowl. I guess where the devil puts his punch. It's pretty cool. It doesn't look like there's any water in there anymore. A couple of pylons. Yeah, don't go by the pylons. Usually when we were here in the spring, that was all full of water and I couldn't walk in there because there's water and I didn't have any boots or anything. But now this drone can go there, but there's no water, so we could have walked in there. But this is cooler anyways. I don't know if the drone does it any justice, but it is a really far drop. It's a long way down there. You would definitely not have a good time if you fell off the edge. It would be quite painful. I like all the, the you can see like all the sediments, the sedimentary rock. That's a thing, right? Yeah, you know all the different types of rock. Igneous, sedimentary, and Kryptonian. Well, Kryptonian technically isn't like an earth rock. Oh, uh, so it's pretty cool. This is a part of the escarpment here where it drops right off. So this is uh, the top of the Hamilton Mountain, and then... Oh, well, that's an RC track. Really? Radio controlled car track. It looks pretty... Pretty nice here right now with all the green foliage. We'll have to come back again. When you see all the trees turn color, that'd be oh, cool to see. Much. It was all pretty cool. I don't know why they call it the Devil's Punch Bowl. I'll have to find that out. I mean, it kind of looks like a punch bowl, but why does it have to be the Devil's Punch Bowl? Maybe he was just angry one day and he needed somewhere yeah. to put his chip. <laughs> his punch. There's some cool graffiti on the side of the, the drainage area there. It's usually where the water comes from, isn't it? Yeah. Someone's turned off the tap. Dog does not like you flying that. Or he's afraid someone's falling down a hole. Nice little neighborhood down there. Some train tracks. There's a cross on the edge of the escarpment there. You've gotten much better at flying this. Well, I think I practiced it twice since the last time you and I flew it. So? I really haven't had time to play it. So. Twice is enough. Seems. I've been trying to like use it more as a camera than as a flying device. Well, I guess that's what it's best for. I mean, if you're just flying it around, you're just flying something around. If you're flying it around with some purpose, that's more impressive. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> it's a long way down. I really like the laws of flying over top of other people's like property. They're pretty strict. I just don't know who's gonna like it for. Probably like NATO. Don't get it stuck in the tree there. Yeah, you're pretty close to those trees. <laughs> Gotta walk under the safety. I probably shouldn't have... Probably shouldn't have gone under there in the first place. Probably there for releasing those railings. I feel like there's lots of rope rescues because people trespass past, past those bars. But we landed safely and neither of us fell off the escarpment, so that was fun. But 